fun. Okay, I'm out here on a 35 degree slope on the east side of the Bridger Range and it just snowed five inches of about 15 percent density uh, snow, which is uh, fairly dense. When the storm came in, it came in pretty fast and there was a lot of grapple with it. And what grapple is, is a lot of uh, kind of ball bearing -y snow. It, uh, it, it's, it just looks like little ball bearings. It's not bonding very well to the snow, the old snow surface. And, uh, and after the grapple event happened, we then got about another few inches of just regular snowflakes on top of it, which is a little higher density. And uh, when I isolate a column, a lot of times it's... Um, fracturing. So let's uh, isolate a column here. I'm going to cut away the back and uh, let's see what happens. So when I'm trying to isolate the column, it fractures right on this grapple layer. I'm not worried about this right now. Um, it's actually going to be pretty nice skiing getting out of here because our skis are going to be sinking down into this. Um, we're not seeing any fractures happening in this upper snow just yet. But what I am worried about is once the wind starts to blow. Because when the wind is starting to blow, it's going to move stuff off the west side of the range, move it onto the east side. I'm expecting to see at least soft slabs, if not hard slabs of snow on top of this. And if this happens soon, meaning within the next day or two before this has a chance to bond, I would expect that we would see significant avalanche activity on this layer. So over the next 24, 48 hours, have a heads up with the winds. And uh, but in the meantime, have good skiing.